The first step we'll take is going ahead and installing the React Native Boot Splash library. We'll then go ahead and install the native iOS dependencies by saying npx pod install iOS. With that installed, we can go ahead and now generate our assets for us. And we need to point to an image we're going to use to kind of generate that. And for me, it's going to be this React Native School.png, which exists in an assets directory at the root of my project. So with that in mind, I'm going to go ahead and run npx react dash native generate dash boot splash. Then I'm going to pass in my path, which is dot forward slash assets slash react native school dot png. Then I'm going to pass some options. And I want my background to look, or my splash screen to look similar to my app here. So I'm going to pass the same background color. I can do that by passing dash dash background dash color is equal to 7CA1B4. Now if I hit enter, it's going to go ahead and generate my iOS and my Android dependencies on the native side so we can use them in our splash screen. So if we jump over to Xcode and we go into our project and find appdelegate.m, in here we'll want to go ahead and import rn boot splash.h. And then if we go down and find our did finish launching with options, in this function, we're going to want to find the return yes. And just before that, we're going to go ahead and add in rn boot splash. We're going to pass an init with storyboard in which we pass at string boot splash. And then for our root view, we just want that to be root view. Now we need to actually add this boot splash in here. And this has already been generated when we ran this command in our boot splash dot storyboard. We just need to add a reference to it within Xcode. To do that, I'm going to go ahead and open up my project in Finder. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and navigate into the iOS directory, into boot app demo, and then we'll find this boot splash dot storyboard. Then if we drag that file over into our story into Xcode. We can go ahead and select unselect copy items if needed, choose create folder references, and then press finish. We just need to create that reference within Xcode. Now we can go ahead and choose the boot app demo project general. And then if you scroll down, you want to change the launch screen file from launch screen to boot splash. Now moving over to Android, what we want to do is find our Android app source main res, or sorry, Java, and then we want to go into our main activity dot Java. In here, we want to import android.os.bundle. We also want to import com.zuntech.rn boot splash dot rn boot Splash. Make sure to get the casing correct. It is important. And then below our protected string get main component, we're going to create a new at override. We're then going to say protected void on create. Then this is going to take a bundle of saved instance instance state and we'll call super.onCreate. We'll pass that saved instance state to that. And then below that, we want to say rn boot splash dot init. And we're going to call r dot drawable dot boot splash. And then as a second argument, we want to pass main activity dot this. Now, if we examine our project, we can see we've added a bunch of Android files one of which being this bootsplash.xml, which we just referenced here. Next, we need to go into our styles.xml, which you can find in app, Android app source, res, values, styles.xml. And in here, we're going to create a new style with a name equal to boot theme. 
and we're going to set a parent equal to app theme. Inside of here, we want to add an item with a name equal to Android colon background. And we're going to reference the at drawable slash boot splash file. And then make sure to close that style tag. Make sure to save both of these files, mainactivity.java and styles.xml. And then we need to go over and find our Android manifest.xml, which is in Android app res Android manifest.xml. Now in here, we need to do a few things. First off, go ahead and remove the intent filter and everything inside of it from this activity. Then we're going to go ahead and define a new activity. We'll go ahead and close that as well. And in this activity, we want to add properties of Android colon name is equal to com.zoontech.rn boot splash dot rn boot splash activity. Again, casing matters. Then we're going to add an Android colon theme that's going to equal at style slash boot theme, the one we just defined. Then we want to add an Android colon launch mode equal to single task. Then inside of this activity, go ahead and paste those intent filters that we removed from the one above. And before we move on, there's two things we need to make sure we add to this activity of main activity. First off is Android launch mode of single task. That should already be there for you, but if it's not, go ahead and add it. Secondly, we need to make sure we add an Android colon exported equal to single task. Or I'm sorry, this one will be equal to true. So Android exported equal to true and Android launch mode equal to single task. With that complete, we can go ahead and actually close our splash screen once we get into our app. So to do that, I'm going to go into my index.js, or I'm sorry, my app.js. Then in here, I'm going to go ahead and use a react.use effect with no arguments, so it only runs on render. And then I'm going to set an artificial timeout here just so we can see this for a little bit longer. Typically, you want to show this as short as you possibly can, uh, maybe while you're loading your fonts in, for example. But at this point, once we're ready, we can go ahead and actually import our in boot splash. From react dash native dash boot splash. And then we can say rn bootsplash.hide once we're ready to hide it. So since we made native changes, we need to go ahead and rebuild our project in Xcode. And we can watch this as it builds and launches. We'll actually see that new splash screen displayed. So we've got our new splash screen. We'll wait a little bit once the app loads, and then we'll go ahead and show our actual application. Likewise, if we go over to Android, we'll go ahead and rebuild that project by saying yarn at yarn Android. We can see the application closed, launched, we've got our splash screen, and now we're showing our app. So if you're interested in any more React Native tips, tricks, or techniques, go ahead and check out reactnativeschool.com.